Welcome back to SoCal Flying Monkey. A lot of you have been asking about the airplane I fly in the videos. Owning this airplane has changed my life and I want to share a story with you. It all started back in 2015. I was working hard finishing up my private pilot license and I thought, what am I going to do with this license? So I told my wife, I said, I think I want to buy a plane. And she was like, yeah, only if you want a divorce. You know I'm terrified of small planes. So I rented a hangar and bought a four seat Piper Cherokee Challenger. Cruising speed of about 115 knots on nine gallons per hour with a 970 pound useful load. When my wife looked in the cockpit for the first time, she said, uh-uh, no way. But she eventually came around. It was a great plane. Fast enough to get us a few places, didn't use too much fuel, easy to maintain, pretty economical to own. We had really great times in that plane. Sightseeing flights, taking friends up, and lots of little trips. The farther we flew, the more stuff we found ourselves taking. I got to thinking, we need a bigger plane. She was like, ha ha, very funny. I was like, I can make it work. So I sold the four-seater to some really nice guys in Illinois and said goodbye to it. I did a bunch of research and decided the right combination of useful load, speed, and economy to own for me was a Piper Cherokee 6, the Suburban of the Skies. It's a 3,400 pound max gross, six seat airplane that has a useful load of around 1,400 pounds, depending on the model year and equipment, and cruises at about 140 knots with a range of 800 to 900 nautical miles on anywhere between 12 and 15 gallons per hour of aft gas. After owning a plane for a couple years, I had a pretty good idea of the equipment I would want in the next plane. With all the new avionics stuff coming out, it would be hard to find a plane already equipped with that stuff. I also figured my next plane might be my forever plane, so I had something specific in mind. I started looking at the online classifieds. My super patient and kind airplane mechanic buddy Don in Florida was helping me look and he said, hey, I think I found a plane that could be a great blank slate. It was a high time, used to be cargo hauler, that had a run-out engine at just under 2,000 hours, terrible avionics, a dreadful interior, and bad paint. Don was like, if the airframe is sound, it could make for an interesting project. I can restore this thing. How patient are you? I was like, I'll make the spreadsheets in California, and you do the work in Florida. And he was like, okay? Don swung by the airplane in Tennessee and inspected it looking for major airworthiness issues that would be deal breakers. He said, it looks like it was ridden hard and put away wet, but it's all good. I negotiated the price with the seller to just under $30,000. Don picked up the plane and flew it home to his place in Florida and began the work. The first thing to do was to deal with the engine. He said, it made great power on the flight from Tennessee. You could probably get a lot more time out of this thing. But I was like, my family is gonna be riding in this thing. Let's just overhaul the engine. And he was like, okie dokie. So he took the engine off and opened it up. Sure enough, it was super clean with no corrosion in there and in great shape, but we went ahead with the overhaul anyway. I had a new avionics stack wired up by an avionics shop. Avidyne IFD 540, ADS-B out transponder, Skytrax ADS-B in, Garmin SL30 comm radio, PS Engineering PMA 450A audio panel, and Don installed a JPI 900 engine monitor. He stripped out the interior, and we ordered leather seat coverings, side panels, headliner, and carpet from Airtex. We ordered up all new plastic interior pieces also, and replaced a few windows. Don got the engine work done, back together and on the plane. After the maiden flight, he said, this thing takes off like a scalded dog and climbs like a homesick angel. He broke the engine in and flew the plane to the paint shop. The plane got sanded and painted over the next couple weeks, and then Don picked it up and installed the interior. 18 months after I purchased the plane, I finally went to Florida to see it for the first time and pick it up. And I sure wasn't disappointed. Don had done a brilliant job. After an awesome pancake breakfast and thanking Don for his amazing work, my new CFI buddy Nick and I flew the plane back to California. What a trip. But we weren't done with the upgrades yet. I had owned the plane for about a year. Dynon Avionics announced that their HDX system would be approved for certified aircraft. I told my wife, I think putting a glass panel and autopilot in there would make it safer. She was like, I think it'd be safer for you to stop. 
So I did a bunch of research on avionics shops and settled on Saint Aviation in Florida. I had a freelance job over in Florida and combined the work trip with the panel upgrade. Jesse put in a Dynon HDX system, TrueTrack Autopilot, and a sweet custom panel overlay in record time. I actually made some in-depth videos about these avionics, so feel free to check those out on this channel. After the panel work, I flew the plane back home to California. This airplane has changed our lives, despite some initial resistance to the idea. It's a stable IFR platform, super comfortable for long trips, relatively economical to own, and pretty easy to fly in and out of almost any airport. We've had amazing adventures all around Southern California. This is my favorite time to fly. And gone as far as Sedona, the Grand Canyon, it's amazing. and Seattle, and seen some great sights out of these windows, like Catalina Island, Mount Shasta, Crater Lake, and Mount St. Helens. And we're just getting started. This channel represents the next step in my aviation journey, and that's sharing what I've learned with you guys. I just press the button, I let go of the yoke, along with taking some new adventures together. I'm a professional cinematographer, and at work, I'm shooting and creating for clients, agencies, and directors. And that's definitely super fun and rewarding. But with these videos, I'm creating exactly what I want to create. Flying videos that I would want to watch. Aviation is unique in that it connects a lot of us who otherwise might seem very different from each other. It's been super fun connecting with so many in the aviation community while publishing these videos. So if you want to come along on the journey with us, subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to support this channel in future videos, become a member on Patreon. We're going to have fun over there. Thanks to everyone who helped me out along the way. Until next time, thanks for coming along on the journey with us.